Ready to hit a million streams on Spotify this year? Then let me give you the exact steps and tools that I would use to do it all over again. Hey, it's John here. If you're new to my channel, I'm the founder of one of the largest music promotion platforms in the world called Hyped It. I'm an independent music artist with over 11 million streams on Spotify. But what's most important, I've helped over 10,000 artists and bands grow their music to over 100 million streams together on Spotify. When I started promoting my music on Spotify, I hit just over a million streams in the first year. And as of this moment, I'm growing at about 250,000 streams a month, which will be about 3 million streams per year. All of this as a totally average musician, because truth is I'm not a hit writer, in a totally unpopular niche genre, I make 90s piano house music and with almost no time to invest into music promotion because I have a busy job and kids and my family. But what if I lost everything? My listeners, my fans, and I had to start back from zero. Well, in this video, I want to share with you the exact plan that I would follow to get back to a million streams on Spotify as easily and quickly as possible. First. I'd release one quality song or single per month. If I had an album ready, I wouldn't release it as an album unless I was already big. Instead, I would drip release it as individual singles. Why? Because each release is a shot to get on Spotify's release radar playlist and editorial playlist, giving me more opportunities for exposure and growth. Next, I'd start promoting my first song. This might be the most important, but also the easiest step in my plan. To build up to a million streams, it's it's really important to get real and engaged fans who become repeat listeners. And that means playlist promotion is out, that's either passive listeners or bots. Social media could get me there, but it would take way too long and require hours and hours of my time that I don't have. So to get in front of active and real diehard fans for my style and sound, I would use music ads on Instagram and Facebook. They just work. Now I could set them up manually, but the easiest and fastest way to run music ads these days is with Hyped It. First, I would select a campaign goal, for example, grow my Spotify track. Then I would add my music, pick the part of my song I want to play in my ad, select the countries in which I want to reach listeners and fans, let the AI help me find some interest for my ideal audience, set my budget, and then launch the campaign. Takes me less than five minutes and done. Next, I would collaborate with artists in my genre to cross-promote music to each other's audiences. The best way to do this is to release songs on Spotify with two main artists. And this would expand my reach and put me in front of new potential fans who already enjoy my genre. And depending on the audience size of the artist I'm collaborating with, the benefits of this can be huge. Step number four, grow fan emails and Spotify pre-saves with exclusive content. So to grow my fan emails and Spotify pre-saves, I would offer exclusive content like early access to new songs or unreleased tracks. The tool that I had the most success with for this are download gates and link gates. These are simple web pages where fans can download or link to an unreleased song or other exclusive content. And in return, they automatically get on my newsletter or pre-save my music on Spotify. Download gates and link gates are already built into Hypedit and they are incredibly effective, so I'm good to go with that. Step number five, intensify the ad promotion. With more of my songs dropping on Spotify, I would intensify my ad promotion by running campaigns for multiple songs. And once I have enough music out on Spotify, I'd actually create a playlist with just my own songs and then drive ad traffic there to that playlist. This strategy will massively multiply the streams I'm getting from my listeners, bringing me much closer to my goal. The Grow My Spotify playlist ad automation in Hypedit makes this process easy. Next, I would optimize my campaigns by analyzing which of my songs and ads perform best. This simply means Identifying which ad campaigns turn the most first-time listeners into fans, followers, and repeat listeners on Spotify. To do that, I analyze the engagement percentage and the cost per click for each of my campaigns. This is easy to do in Hypedate where I manage my campaigns. And with that information, I can shift my promotion budget from campaigns that are not doing great to the ones that are winners. This can sometimes be tough, but it's important not to be afraid of making hard decisions. And what I mean by this is that I love all of my songs, but the truth is some perform much better than others. So I have to make hard choices and kill the promotion for the losers 
to really blow up the winners. And there's a really big reward for doing it this way. Because I get more listeners and fans flooding to my music on Spotify. And that gets me more support from Spotify's algorithmic playlists, such as Discover Weekly or Spotify Radio or Release Radar. And then last but not least, step seven, re-engage existing fans. I would use the email addresses I've collected to keep my fans updated on new music and always provide options to link back to my music on Spotify in those emails. Keeping my fans engaged is crucial for sustained growth and reaching my streaming goals. Getting to a million streams is absolutely possible. Lots of artists in our community are doing it. Check out Tom who hit a million streams on Spotify and says that after 18 years of making music and having no success getting heard, I finally feel the recognition and acknowledgement I've been seeking all these years. Or Dante, who hit 1 million streams to then go on and crack 10 million streams and more. It's success stories like these that absolutely amaze me. And that's why I know you can do it too, okay? No matter what kind of music you're making. And even if you have zero listeners and streams today, what really matters the most is to commit and get started. With that said, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell buttons below so you can get more videos like this on YouTube. And if you'd like to discover how I use just two simple tools to grow my music from zero to now millions of streams on Spotify and how you can easily put together that same growth system for your music click by click, then check out this next clip right here. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Growth Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Growth Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you wanna get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify growth switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.